Hi all the signs of the zodiac, I'm Pam and welcome to your psychic crystal reading for the new moon in Aquarius, February 4th, 2019. I'm going to look into my crystal and give you messages and predictions for each of the four elements as to what effects you can experience from this new moon in Aquarius. The four elements are earth, water, fire, and air. The earth signs are Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo. The water signs are Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. The fire signs are Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. And the air signs are Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. I hope these messages are going to be helpful to you. I do this every month if you haven't seen these videos before. So let's see what comes up for you with this Aquarius new moon. I'm going to start with earth first. I feel that some of you earth signs are going to feel a little jumpy or a little edgy in the sense that you want some kind of information about something or you are waiting for or wanting someone to tell you something. So you could be waiting on some information or maybe you there's a friend or your love or a significant other or something, but you're like wanting or waiting for information. Some of you are going to see an opportunity that's going to come up or you're like seeing it coming at you. And I feel like this opportunity is something that's you're going to want to grab it. It's something coming at you that maybe has coming been coming for a while because I feel like it's like coming to you slowly and I see it's an opportunity and some of you earth signs are going to want to take it. Some of you uh, earth signs may be looking for new outlets to do something fun. You may feel like I'm bored. I'm bored with the same old routine or I want to do fun things with my partner or I want to meet up and do new and different things. So you're looking for new outlets. You could also be looking for new outlets involving work and business, but a lot of you it's circling around fun. Be cautious you don't spend too much money. You may have a tendency with the energy of this new moon in Aquarius to spend too much money. Also, you need to be cautious because I do feel that some of you earth signs are going to feel like someone is trying to push your buttons or rile you up. Like get your goat, get you going. Don't let them do that. So be on the lookout for that. If you notice somebody doing it, you know, act like it, you're not phased. You know, this new moon energy is going to highlight for some of you earth signs that someone is spying on you. Uh, or deceiving you in some way. But I, I really get like they could be taking something from you or spying on you. And I know that's going to sound weird, but, you know, this energy can last up to 30 days. It's not necessarily right around the... It could be right around the new moon on the 4th, but this could last until the next new moon or at least, you know, could last a 30-day cycle. If you hear weird noises in the background, my dog is snoring... Uh, <laughs> I must be exciting him. He's bored and snoring. Oh, for some of you, you're going to see a rival. Some of you earth signs are going to see a rival take a nosedive. So if you've had competition or at work or, in, or for a love partner or in some way, and you there's been a rival kind of nipping at your heels, they're going to, it's not, things aren't, they're going to, dive there's some i don't want to say anything negative i don't mean die i mean like a nose dive something isn't going to work out well for them some of you have like a sizzling hot romance that's going to kick up or if you're in a couple or a partnership with someone you may be really having a great time uh with your partner around over the course of the next 30 days there is going to be some kind of situations that are going to arise for some of you earth signs that are actually going to give you some kind of peace of mind. Like uh, anything that got stolen gets given back. Anything that got, gets hacked gets found out. Something will give you peace of mind. So I hope those messages were of help to you. Now I'm going to look into the element of water. This would be Pisces, Cancers, and Scorpios. 
Some of you may have someone that comes up and pops the question of engagement. Some of you water signs may be getting a proposal. If it's not a marriage proposal, it could be a business proposal, but this really felt more like a uh, marriage proposal. Some of you are going to be working very diligently and putting a lot of attention to craftsmanship and focus on detail in a creative pursuit that you work on or at your work. That comes up for some of you water signs. Some of you water signs are going to have like simultaneous things going on. Like you're going to feel like you're juggling a lot of responsibilities or like I want to go out with my friends and I'm doing this and that, but I got to finish this work and I got to do this other stuff over here. So a lot of things that would in that would be involved doing things simultaneously. Some of you are going to get a little jumpy from this full uh, new moon. Sorry, new moon in Aquarius. You may feel like edgy, jumpy. Your kids might jump out and scare you. Uh, you may see a spirit or a ghost or a UFO or something that pops up and scares you. Um, because I get like jumpy. I feel like you're going to feel a little edgy or jumpy from this Aquarius new moon. Try to find balance and stabilize. Some of you water signs may find like you're worrying too much. And this is kind of throwing you off or throwing you off balance a little bit. Also, water signs stay true to your course. Now is not the time to veer off your path. If you're on a particular course, stick with it now. Don't let this energy like distract you away from your course. Watch your step. Don't trip. I feel like you may feel a little klutzy or uncoordinated uh, at this time. Like you may trip over a carpet, trip over your own feet, trip over a shoelace, trip over your dog's or kid's toys on the floor. Just be careful of tripping. Some of you water signs are going to have a whole new outlook on something like your perspective or your outlook uh, gets uh, turned around. Also, for some of you, something that's been like a confusing or jumbled up situation or mess seems to get smoothed over and things get sorted out. Some of you may have a relative that pops up and says hi during the course of the next 30 days. And I feel like you're going to be happy about this. This isn't going to be like, Ugh, I didn't want to see that relative. I feel like you're going to be happy. Try not to let little things annoy you. You may have that tendency where you find like you're like getting a little wigged out over little annoyances that pop up. Try to, you know, not get, you know, easily irritated. And I feel that some of you are going to like really feel like you're looking pretty good. Like I'm not saying you don't look good all the time. Don't get me wrong, water signs. But I feel like during the energy of this Aquarius new moon, it's going to really you know, like your eyes are going to stand out or your hair is going to shine or you're just going to be glowing uh, in your physical appearance during this uh, next 30 days. So now I'm going to look into the element of fire. This would be Aries, Leo and Sagittarius. It, you're going to have like weird reversals. I feel like simple things that were normally simple and easy turn into like complicated tasks and things that were once complicated or annoying or cumbersome become easy. You're going to have like a flip-flop there of that kind of energy. You may find some of you fire signs that somebody around you is like hammering you for details. This could, you know, it could be a friend wanting to know what's going on. It could be a boss saying, Hey, what's up with this? Like, where's the information? Why do, when did you do this? And how long did it take you to do that? And what did they say or do? Or it could be your parents or a, or a spouse. But somebody could be hammering you for details from the energy of this Aquarius new moon. Wow, that's weird. I didn't expect to hear that. Some of you may find that a childhood sweetheart returns. Now, that could be they just show up and you meet them again and, oh, like, hey, remember when? Or they could return for more than that. I don't know, but that does come up here for some of you fire signs. Some of you will, uh, fire signs are going to see that there is a ticklish, weird, like, dicey or ticklish 
or a strange situation within your family that gets sorted out. So if anybody's had any addictions or if there was problems at school or, uh, you know, there were things that got like notes that got missed or sicknesses or homework missed or, you know, miscommunications with your kid, then they live far away. I don't know. But with your children, there's something that gets uh, figured out and sorted out within your family, especially in relation to your kids or grandkids. Just when you gave up hope, something arrives, someone arrives at a, like out of the blue or at a moment's notice. So like if you're at work and like you, uh, you know, the person didn't show up for their shift or you have to call out sick or you own the company or business or, you know, whatever you're like, oh my gosh, what's going to happen? This person didn't show up or the, somebody's going to show up. That's going to like, kind of like, I guess I want to say save the day. <laughs> you know, if you've been dealing with people that have had childish behavior or immaturity or it's, I feel like who's ever around you doing that fire signs, you're going to start to see that either taper off or it's going to completely fade away and come to an end <clears throat> from the energy of this new moon in Aquarius. Some of you are going to be really fortunate and find like really good bargains over the course of the next 30 days. Um, like really good bargains if you're trying, you know, whatever you're buying, whether it's food shopping, clothes shopping, car shopping, house shopping, I don't know. I get you getting really good bargains. You know, be cautious. Don't let's try to talk somebody out of something. Uh, let people make their own mistakes. If you have a child or somebody close to you or a friend to you that you're like, oh, don't do that. You better watch out. I, it might be wise to let them go through it and not try to talk them out of it. I know that sounds like a weird message, but I feel like whoever this is involving, it's part of their journey or karmic lessons. So you don't really want to interfere with it. So now I'm going to look into the air signs. So this is Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra air signs. Some of you uh, air signs are going to feel like successful things are abounding from the energy of this new moon in Aquarius. Some of you are actually going to have closure or ending of something. It could even be a relationship. It feels like a relationship. So this could end a friendship. This could end a partnership. Um, this could be like, you know, uh, but I don't really feel like it's in a negative sense. Like maybe the person has to move uh, or maybe they're, you know, uh, going away. I don't know. I don't know what it is, but I did get some of you a relationship of some sort has, is coming to a close. Some of you may be experiencing uh, feelings of feeling challenged by bickering going on. So there could be family bickering going on, or it could be bickering going on at work, or bickering politically going on on the internet or on TV. But there's some kind of bickering that some of you air signs are going to feel affected by over the course of the next 30 days from the energies of this new moon in Aquarius. Wow, some of you, you're going to have like really hopped up energy. Your energy is going to be really high from this. Like, you're going to feel like you could, you know, run around the, you know, run around the state you lived in. I mean, you live in. I get all this hopped up energy, high energy. You may make some important contact. You could get a call from a talent agent uh, or a, uh, a talent scout or a coach or a headhunter or somebody that you applied to a job before. Uh, and you didn't get the job and now the job becomes available again. You have that kind of energy like of somebody contacting you in that sense. If you had recently blown a lot of money or lost money gambling or just had a lot of bills to pay, I, I feel this Aquarius new moon is actually going to be bringing you in some kind of like uh, leveling off or, uh, or stability, especially around your money. Avoid over speculation. I feel like this Aquarius new 
<laughs> my dog agreed. Did you hear him snore? Um, my, uh, the Aquarius new moon it may be driving up like you overanalyzing things or speculating way too much. So try to guard yourself about that. Be careful, be careful, be careful. I do feel that some of you air signs have to watch. Like I see somebody speaking to you with a forked tongue. So that means somebody's like, they're not telling you the truth or you're, yeah, you're getting a double story. Be careful if you, especially in relation to if you work at a business or in an office, I'd be cautious of, of like somebody telling you a line of, a line of crap that's not true. <laughs> Make sure you get plenty of rest and, uh, you know, take vitamin C, echinacea, uh, don't overwork yourself, try to, uh, you know, pace yourself, don't overly stress yourself, because I feel like you don't want to get sick, and I feel like you, you, because look, at one point I got like, your energy is going to be all hopped up, and like off the hook, so if you get that energy, like, yeah, I'm going to conquer the world, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that, I'm going to clean the house, I'm going to do this work and that work and the other, and then I'm going to go here and there, you're going to burn yourself out. So, and, and you could get sick. So make sure you take time to rest. Uh, I'm not seeing you get sick, but you're like, feels to me like you might be on the verge of catching something. So be careful, air signs with that. So I hope this reading was of help to you and I hope it made sense. I want to thank you so much for watching, sharing, and liking my videos. Thank you for subscribing and for Google Plusing. I do truly appreciate that. And please remember to subscribe. That way you'll get notified when I upload my videos here to YouTube. And if you're interested in getting a, the crystal readings for your specific zodiac sign, where I look into my crystal and listen to my spirit guides give me messages and predictions for your sign for the month of February 2019. You can access those videos for download and purchase by clicking on the link below this video in the show more section and it will take you to my Vimeo videos on demand page for those psychic crystal readings for February for each sign of the Zodiac for download and purchase. You can also access these videos by going to my website, www.theluckymermaid.com. Click on the videos tab on my menu and there you will see probably at the very first video series at the top of the page, you click on your sign and it will take you to those videos on Vimeo. Also, I highly, highly recommend you check out my 2019 uh, the, Ecl the Eclipse Effects videos for the two eclipses that we had in January 2019. Psychic Tarot readings for each sign of the Zodiac. Wow, they were really powerful. There was nine cards in the reading. The reading went, I believe they were around 25 minutes long. They were packed full of predictions and information about how the, the two eclipses in January 2019 are going to be affecting your zodiac sign for the next six months. And some of those videos went even past the six month period. So I highly recommend those. You can get them by clicking on the other link below this video in the show more section. And you, they are also available on my website. Again, www.theluckymermaid.com and look for those Eclipse Effects videos. Click on your sign and it will take you to those videos on Vimeo. So I want to wish you all the love possible and amazing energy from this new moon in Aquarius uh, that's happening on February 4th, 2019. And know that I wish you many blessings and peace.